So this form of exercise is the best form of exercise for many reasons. And one of the reasons it gives the athletes an edge, one of the reasons it's going to give you an edge on your day, physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, one of the reasons it does that is because not so much, well, definitely what's happening in Thai intensity, but what's also happening in recovery time. I'm very thankful to Doug McGuff and the scientists that went inside the cell to find out, where's our why? Where's our why? <laughs> to find out why it is such a powerful form of exercise. Not only is it a powerful form of exercise, but it doesn't take long. You do the maths on that. I'm going to be generous here. What, what, what's this? This is no more than 15 minutes in a day. We have 24 hours in a day. So no one's got any excuse. <laughs> So let's continue. So you're getting to the end of your first 30 seconds. You're plucking your glycogen stores. You're getting to the end of your second set of 30 seconds high intensity. Your glycogen stores are being depleted, but we need more fuel. And so what the body does now, it causes a release of the human growth hormone. The human growth hormone is very active when we're growing. But when we stop growing, I stopped growing at 16, that probably doesn't surprise you. My son William grew two inches from 19 to 22. Boys usually grow a bit longer. It goes into retirement. But when you do the high intensity exercise, it's pulled out of retirement. Let me show you what it does. What the human growth hormone does is it causes a release of hormone-sensitive lipase. Hormone-sensitive lipase is an enzyme that breaks down fat cells. Yesterday we looked at sublingual lipase, remember that enzyme that breaks down the short chain and medium chain, chain fatty acids in the saturated fats? We looked at pancreatic lipase that breaks down the long chain fatty acids. We're looking at another lipase now, and that is hormone-sensitive lipase that's released to break down your fuel stores. Isn't that what fat is? <laughs> it's the most amazing fuel depot in the human body. But how many people are carrying a lot of weight? They're actually starving in the land of plenty. They can't access their fuel supplies. They're always tied. How do we access it? This is how we access it causing a release of the human growth hormone. So hormone sensitive lipase is act activated and hormone sensitive lipase as it is activated, it switches over to burning fat. It becomes a fat burner. So one of the reasons why when the human growth hormone is released, the body starts burning fat as fuel is because of something we looked at yesterday. Remember glucose? Glucose burns in the body at four calories per gram. Remember fat? Fat burns in the body as nine calories per gram. Now you'll find that information in every weight loss book in psychedelic colors as to the reason why if you want to lose weight, you shouldn't eat fat. But they don't understand what a calorie is. You know what a calorie is? It's a unit of energy. So if you want a high energy food, what do you eat? Ah, uh, fat. <laughs> you see, it's a misconception. No wonder the body starts burning fat as fuel because fat's going to give more than twice the units of energy that glucose will give. 